بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to another tutorial on Adobe Animate CC 2020 In this tutorial we are going to demonst demonstrate the use of Classic Tween We already explained the motion classic and shape tweens in previous video Okay, but today in this tutorial we are going to focus on a few things that is specifically used with uh, Classic Tween So we are going to start with a quick review of how to create a Classic Tween so as with motion tween, classic tween works with objects, not with shapes. So first of all, we need to convert our drawings into a symbol, and then we are going to add another keyframe here. In classic tween, you have to have two keyframes in order to create the animation. So this is the first keyframe, and this is the second keyframe, and I'm going to just move this to that side, and simply right-click anywhere in between and select classic tween, and this is going to create a classic tween for you. You can go to this keyframe, press Q for free transform and then do a rotation or any other transformation and you see it's going to be added to your classic tween. As with motion tween, classic tween is not meant to animate shape properties like fill, stroke and color. It's, uh, it's used to, apply, uh, to animate object transformation including position, scale, rotations, Q and other things like color effects, filters if it's a movie clip and so on okay so uh, in motion tween we uh, if you if you remember and uh, if you watch the video that I already posted in motion tween the any the uh, basically animate will create an animation path automatically when you create the animation it is not the same case in classic tween in classic tween you need to create the animation path yourself so how to create a, an, a path or uh, animation along a path in classic tween basically you have to have a separate layer for the path I'm gonna use this I'm gonna select the pencil or the brush and I'm gonna simply uh, draw a small uh, a simple path like this okay and then I'm gonna select this I'm gonna just uh, sorry uh, I'm not gonna double click I will just scale down a bit like this and uh, now how to uh, make this or how to make the object moves along the path so first of all you need to select the path or the layer with the path and make it guide and then move that layer to be linked to it okay you see the let's say the thumbnail of the layer changed to an a, a classic tween guided layer so now what you have to do is you just at the first keyframe put this object here make sure that this point is at the beginning of the path and at the end you just need to click the layer and just put it here and we're gonna scale it down a little bit because we scaled it down in the first keyframe only and that's it you have the shape moving along the path as you can see here play you have the shape moving along the path of course there are a few other things interesting things you can do with the with the let's say a guided layer motion classic tween so first thing is when you click here on the classic tween you can go to the properties here in the tweening properties and the first thing you think about to do it is uh, check this on orient along the path and this is going to make the symbol orient along the path or rotates along the paths as it moves okay this is one thing you can do and the other interesting thing if you have this path selected okay let me just delete this point and then I'm going to link them like this I'm going to just delete this okay we have a better path we can of course you can delete this and create another path if you want we can just select this make it like that okay I'm going to just okay just a little bit do some modifications I'm going to select the path I'm going to go to stroke and I'm going to change the color of this stroke to a gradient fill let me double click the path itself again make sure that it is straight let me just increase this a little bit so you can see it better okay now we can go to the classic tween and what we can do is click the classic tween color along the path and what this is going to do is change the shape color along the path as you can see here you see this blue thing it's going to change and then it's going to change to white and then it's going to change to yellow again and it's going to change to white again so you can 
this enables you to change the color of the object as the color of the path itself increase uh, changes okay one other interesting thing is you can scale it along the path so what what do you mean by this let me just anyway select this and delete it I'm gonna just delete this uh, let me delete this as well I'm gonna click this shape here sorry object copy it and then I'm gonna paste it in the other location in the in the other keyframe sorry and now I'm gonna go to the guided layer I'm gonna create a, a line to use as a path it's gonna be straight line I'm gonna hold shift to make straight and I'm gonna change its color to make it more obvious uh, sorry more clear it's obvious it's a path I'm gonna change this a little bit and what I'm gonna do is I will see the width brush tool it's not included here I'm gonna add it I'm gonna add it under the my brush and then what we're gonna do with this is I click Oh, we cannot do it because we need to first to change it to something like this okay and now I'm gonna go to the brush tool to the width brush tool and you see I'm gonna increase it a little bit okay so now what we're gonna do first let's just make uh, the path or move the object along the path I'm gonna make it position it sorry not make it position it at the beginning of the path and then I'm going to position it at the end of the path and this is going to make it move along the path okay now you can hide this if you don't want to, to do it to do this to make sure that this is animated along the path let me just do some modification to the path I'm going to just make it like this you see it is actually moving along the path but it is not obvious you can hide the path and the object will still move along the path so what we are going to do now click the classic tween and just select this scale along the path you see how it's gonna scale it's gonna start with a small object and this is gonna scale along the path as the path width increases and it's gonna, it's gonna scale down again okay you can go always to this path here increase uh, let me first decrease it uh, to decrease the effect of the path I'm gonna just move this there I'm gonna increase this you can add another point here to increase it and then we are gonna decrease this here just to demonstrate the effect you see it's gonna start small big and then small and then big again basically you can create very interesting effects using these kind of things anyway this this is it for the classic tween of course we can play around with these other options here and when we are gonna add sounds we are gonna come back to this later on in other videos for now I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much see you in another tutorials